These days nearly everyone has a cell phone, so why not make your very own cell phone cover with friendly plastic? It's easy, and I'll show you how when we come right back. I'm going to be using a um, standard iPhone cover. I got this at the dollar store, so be sure and pick you up just a, a cover that fits your phone. And I have traced a pattern onto this piece of paper right here. And as you can see, I've cut out for the center hole here, and I've cut out for the uh, camera. I've also let this paper soak in some baby oil, and that's going to help it not to stick to the plastic when we get ready to cut it out. Now over here on the griddle, I have some colors, some friendly plastic colors kind of hanging out over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an inlay. So I'm going to put these over here on my nonstick table, my surface here. And I have a few cutters. I've got a few circle cutters. So I'm going to make a few circle cutouts of each of these colors. And I can go back in with various sizes and make little hoops and swirls and you know all kinds of patterns. You can also use square cutters, whatever cutters you have and whatever pattern you want. You're going to complete that um, with the entire strip of uh, plastic. Then you're going to cool this and you'll pop them out just like I have here. Just like you see right here. Okay, So you'll wind up with all kinds of little circle centers just like this one. Your next step is to create your backing layer. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cut two strips of friendly plastic in half, just like this. Lay them back to back. And then place this on the griddle until it melts. I have my background cut out now. And I've done the same technique that I did earlier with cutting out the circles, and I've popped a few of them out. Of course, this is the center one that will leave blank anyway, but I popped these two out to show you that we're going to take those little circles that we created earlier, and we're going to drop them back in. This creates kind of a, an embedded look and uh, you can change the color of the dots. And you're going to do that completely uh, to the rest of your back of your cell phone cover until it's finished. And then it's going to go back on the griddle to melt down again. You can take your scissors and trim up any of the extra edges. You might even want to take a craft knife that's been coated in baby oil and kind of, you know, just clean up the en edges so that they look nice and neat. And while that's hanging out over there, I want to show you one that I just finished. It's very similar. The only thing that's different, I use the exact same technique, except this time I used um, one of my striped, uh, oh, my striped strips. I created this with lots of little tiny stripes and then I cut the circles out from here. So it's got a little bit of a different pattern. When this is completely cooled, you'll want to cover the back of your cell phone cover with some double stick tape and adhere it to the back and you're ready to go. Now make lots of these for yourself and for your friend. Have lots of fun with Friendly Plastic. If you need more ideas and inspiration, be, be sure to check us out on our blog at friendlyplastic.blogspot.com. Lots of eye candy for you to see there. And that's going to wrap it up for this episode. I'm Linda Peterson. I'll be back again to share more tips, techniques, and ideas working with friendly plastic.